Hi, hello, my name is Than, short for Nathaniel. Um, today, I have um, the new YSL uh, Couture Color Clutch. It says eye and face palette. Okay, so I guess this is also, they also consider this a face palette, you know? And I was like, things do look a little blushy in here, but I wasn't, sh I didn't know that it was actually advertised as a face palette too. Anyways, here it is. It looks nice. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at that for now. I love the mirror in here. I already um, sort of swatched some of them. I know I should be preserving them until the video, but I couldn't help it. So this is for spring 2021. You get 20 grams of product total in here and it uh, has a shelf life of 24 months, 10 pretty shades. I wonder if I should try using these as blush. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this on the face, but I will be using this for an eye look. I also have uh, the new brow products from Kosas. And as well from Kosas, I, I got the Cloud Set Powder. So those are the focuses for today. Um, look at this. My value size <laughs> of the uh, Bobby Brown and uh, Vitamin Rich face base came. Yay! I'm so excited. I love how that one little tiny sample convinced me to get the largest size possible. Where is a hair clip? So I'm gonna prime with the Bobby Brown face base. And then I'm gonna use the Dior Natural Nude. Uh, shade zero N, just starting with one pump and then building. This hue stick from Live Tinted and the shade Balance. Warm it on the back of my hand first and then take my finger. Just use too much. Okay, that's not bad actually. Now, on top of that, the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 00N. Let's see what this powder is all about. I have it in the lightest shade called Airy. Uh, Chicoto Z5. So I just sort of lightly set uh, my entire face. And I will say I'm not feeling um, particularly dry and I don't see anything really being like emphasized. Look at this giant pore right here. Anyways, I do really like this compact, I have to say. It it feels a lot more luxe than it looks, um, or it's just like, it's a little thicker and heavier and it just has a really nice feeling in it, with it, so. I definitely do like this packaging. We'll see how things blend on top of this powder. I'm gonna contour with um, Hindash Butopsy. Here is the Shakuta Angled Face Brush, and I'm gonna go into a little bit of tan lines and real. And if you don't know, so. It's basically these two shades here and then the gray shade over here that I'm using, if you haven't seen this yet. I highly recommend you check out my official review of, <laughs> of this palette, but yeah. So, I really wanna try this um, Sunji Sculpt One brush. So I'm gonna give it a go with the Gucci bronzer. 
or should I try it with the Dior bronzer? All right, I'm gonna test the Dior bronzer again. I'm just curious, because I, I wanna know if I wanna get the next shade up or if I wanna just see if this works on me or not. I'm gonna add some of the Gucci on top, but let me know if this bronzer <laughs> looks weird. I I'm not really sure, I can't tell. But anyways, a tiny bit of the Gucci bronzer now. Whoa, that picked up way too much, fuck. So I think I'm gonna start with the Refer 27 brush and go into this blue in the corner, the more bluey one, not the green one, the more blue. It's my first time using this formula, so. that it looks like a, a really pretty soft blue this mirror is really nice because it goes from like edge to edge you know so it just it feels it's nice to look into you get like the maximum mirror space that you could get <laughs> but yeah I would just want to do a little cute blue springy moment because it's spring, and this is the spring collection. <laughs> Taking this little itty bitty Refer 03 pencil brush, and I'm going into the same blue shade right underneath the lash line. Oh, I have a tickle. Ugh, I don't know what that is, but it's itching me. God, I guess since we're doing this spring look, my allergies are deciding to fucking show up. I'm taking the Sony G Crease Pro and I'm going into the like darker sort of violet color. I'm just going right in the crease. The reference number one brush back into that first blue. sort of blending those two colors together. Okay, these definitely, <laughs> both sides are definitely a little different. Uh, I don't know how to make them the same. Can I take the Sonya G uh, Worker 3 into this like greeny shade? And put that in the center, going up. This is sort of giving me vibes of the look I created, the blue look from the Club Nebula palette, but this is more like soft. And this green blue, I guess, would this be like a light teal or what would this be called? It's so bright and pretty. I'm taking the rougher number three brush again and going into that greeny blue. Sort of white, sparkly, glittery, toppery shade right in the center here. Yeah, I just need a little bit more sparkle. <laughs> the thing is, it's like, Brands put these like sparkly top coat shades in and they're like, they just are not enough. They just are not enough. They're not sparkly enough. So I always end up going in when I do these looks, I always end up going in with this glitter from the Divine Rose one. It's all, it's the same glitter that's in the Midnight Sun from Pat McGrath as well. Or I go into Soul Diver from the 2019 holiday collection. I'm gonna go in with that one today. It's just such, such a soft veil, but it's so sparkly. Okay, so I guess since this can be used 
I mean, really you can use any product wherever you want, but since it's specifically saying face and eye palette, I mean, I'll probably end up adding another blush on top, but I wanna try using these two shades here as blushes. Koyudo um, Yashiki number no. two brush into the lighter, more matte pink. That will work as a blush, I think. I went a little too close in, too far in with my blush, so I'm just taking the Gucci powder and the puff in it, and I'm just tapping. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go in with Buzzkill from Melt. Same brush, just on the buzz side, the blush side. Sonya G face one, and we'll buff with the Armani powder. Where is it? <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is. God, it's always right in front of me. I wonder if I should try that other shade as a highlighter. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try this like glittery shade as like a little highlighter moment. Oh, the brow products, of course. Okay, so I have the Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. So it's got a pretty fine point. Spoolie on the other side. You know, I'm not gonna go too crazy here. I'm just really not good with brow pencils, like, honestly. I feel like I fucked that up. That's okay. Whatever, I tried. Anyways, so I got the brow gel in two shades. I got dark brown and gray. This is the gray one. So here's dark brown and here's gray. And this is the brow pop. Or air brow, air brow. <laughs> that was the brow pop, right? Yes, okay, pencil's the brow pop, this is the air brow gel. I'm gonna try the gray one, cause my hair is, you know, that. So I've already used these um, a bunch. I've only tried the pencil like once before this, cause I don't really <laughs> use pencils, but I just wanna try it. Um, but I've used these both times. Mostly I've used the dark brown one, so we'll see how this goes. So I do like these brow gels. They are pigmented. They're sort of like, they're a thick, thicker consistency. So unlike the uh, milk fiber brow gels, um, these are like more wet, but they're, um, I would say they're the same level of pigmentation. It has more of like the pomade sort of texture, um, a little bit thicker than the Gimme Brow, the Merit. Um, this isn't as pigmented and it's a little bit more like mess free. This could get messy if you go in with too much. You just have to be careful, but not as careful as you would have to be with the, the milk one. I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral Lip Balm. I'm gonna go back into Beautopsy and do some brightening with the lines shade. Okay, um, I'm gonna use the Ilia Mascara. Okay, let's zoom in and then we'll do final thoughts. Um, this powder, I, I will say that it didn't make anything look dry. It, it didn't necessarily make things look like matte typically when like set, super set. So I think this might be like a really good setting powder for dry skin. I need to use this with, with more like formulas and things. Brow pencil, um, seems great. If you're a brow pencil person, you will probably like this. I 
don't know why I got this. Um, these brow gels, I think they're both really good. I think I prefer the dark brown over the gray, but um, still, I love the packaging and they work great. So they definitely feel like, like when you're putting them on, they feel thick. Like you can feel them holding your brow, your, yeah, you, what? Okay, hold on a second. What am I saying? <laughs> okay. You can feel the brow gel. <laughs> okay, you can feel the brow gel going on, you know, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable or crunchy or anything right now. It just has a somewhat, you know, you know, you can feel the holds of the gel. Now the star of the show, I mean, I'm gonna have to play around with the other, the other shades, but I really liked this cute little like pastel blue moment. The only thing is it's hard to tell in person, you know, like, okay, so there's a possibility that these look really patchy because they're like these more like sheer build, like buildable sort of, you know, colors that are like opaque right away. Like I probably have some blending issues going on, but yeah, the colors are really pretty and this pink works nice as a blush. Let me see this other color next to it. I think that this sort of more orangey coral shade next to the pink, um, I think that would be really nice as a blush too. I, mean, I should have tried that one. That looks really nice actually. It has more of a sheen. I like this. I think this is nice, but I wouldn't get it unless you have a discount or there's like a sale. I think there's a sale going on right now. Oh, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> This is like a holy grail immediately. I like can't, I'm so fucking happy that I got that. My skin just looks so like, I don't know, like it has life to it. It doesn't look like dead and super dry or matte. I just feel like this is like the perfect product if you have really dry skin like me. Cause I feel like it just eliminates the texture of the dry skin. Cause it just makes it so, it's such a rich, nice moisturizer, you know? Um. I really love this brush. I'm not surprised. I mean, I love like all of Sony G's brushes, <laughs> but that was just like, it was so fun to apply my bronzer with it. So love, I want to use that with blush too. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to um, like, comment and subscribe and ring the bell to so notified every single time that I upload a new video. Follow my Instagram, prettier than gram. All right, goodbye. <laughs>